For, uh, so you were at Impact, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, was just, so CM Punk was at Impact, correct? Yeah, I didn't see him. You I didn't know he see was him? there, but uh, no. I, mm. They brought you him in, like, see, away like from Like, real clandestine, like, it's like, yeah. he's a, like it's like the Prince William or something like was there like you know, I don't know I saw that guy that bit the young bucks that ace steel guy I've never yeah, seen him yeah. before right ace got a job there yeah did but, you ask him what happened he was no I don't know him so right. uh, I'm gonna walk up to a stranger and go yo what happened but um he was very low key you know very very quiet you right. know and. You know, and he was just doing his work, I guess. You know, I really didn't. I He said hi to me because I really, I didn't know who he was. And yeah, he goes, right. hi, I'm Ace Steel. And I'm like, oh, what's up? I'm Conan. But I don't, I, you know. Let me I ask never, you a question. I, yeah. What percentage of the uh, wrestlers come up and introduce themselves to you that, in, in the locker room? I would say 80%. But I think some people are a little bit, you know, I don't know what would be the word. Might have an issue uh, with you, or no, just an introver an intro no, introverted. Think, no, maybe? Not in that locker room, and not in that locker room. In that right. locker room, I got it. Um, but yeah, maybe intimidated, or maybe like you know, I don't know. But yeah. right, interesting. Yeah. Um, but he, he, he's. Let me just say this, bro. That Bound for Glory was good. That Will Osprey is incredible, yeah. and um, uh, that match with Mike Speedball Bailey was re. Did you talk to Osprey? Yes, I did. Did you talk about him bringing him into AAA? Yes, I did. Is it what? What are the, is there a chance he might be coming to AAA in the future? It's fifty fifty right now because it depends who he signs with. Interesting. I, I Interesting. bro, I think yeah, I don't want. Where, where do you think he's going to sign? I'll, go ahead. I think he's going to sign with WWE because all of a sudden I was I read a report that he said that that's on the table now. I don't know why he wouldn't. He is like the prototype guy that 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 they're looking for. He's he's still relatively young. He's very athletic. Um, he probably wants to tone his style down. He can still go. All of his work is solid, and he's a good-looking guy. With and he's and he's it is he's, he's, he's bro. Uh, not only that, from the UK. Not, not only that. <clears throat> I never really heard his promos because I met him. I told you, like about eight years ago in PWG. Right. And I wanted him to come to Mexico and live there, you know, so right. we didn't have to be flying him from England. And he was like, oh, I'm about to get married or my girlfriend doesn't want to go, something like that. I actually reminded right. him of that. But anyways, right. he, uh, he to me, does something that y you're going to like. So he used to do a lot of, because I remember one time you criticized his match with Ricochet. Remember that right. viral match? Yeah. 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 But, but what he did is he took all that, lucha style which a lot of times if it's not well placed and can look choreographed you know what i'm saying or right. uh maybe even corny in some things um he made it all believable and everything he does is logical and believable bro he's he's right. on a whole nother level like right. i just think yeah. I just, you, you, you're, you're true the only thing he does that I oh let me tell you let me, is he he really he does too many things that hurt him Right. You know, like, like, like he's got a lot of offense that hurts himself. And I, you know, right. it's just like, you know, when, when you can throw. But let me tell you, let me tell you what put it, let me tell you what put it over the top for me. I heard him do two promos and mm -hmm. they were both great. He can right. talk on the mic, dude. Mm -hmm. He's really, really good. He's going to be a, if he goes to WWE, he's going to be a huge star. I agree. I agree. I mean, he yeah. looks like a million bucks and, and he's a perfect yeah. size to wrestle with every person on the roster. You know, he's like these, well, what is he, like two, how, how much does he weigh, like 235, 240? Yeah, he got big. He he got these, really he got, big. Yeah, he used to be smaller. Now he put some size on. He's the perfect size. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why he would want to go anywhere but WWE. I mean, I know he's, he, you know, he's got connections to the New Japan and AEW, but it's like, it's like you, you well, have a chance. Did that. Yeah, right. so I'm saying you already did that stuff. And it's time to take the next step and see, like, like, see where you are. Because your work is really good, see where you're going to go down in history. You have to go to New York, to WWE to do that. It's like no, no, nobody. You can't show me a guy that, that historically in professional wrestling like never went to WWE except, but he did eventually go to WWE with Sting. 
mm-hmm. you know, historically, like in the big picture, you had to do you have to do this for big national for big audiences in that in that environment. And that's I you know well, I, I would, a, I would you, here's here's a here's a you know I'm gonna give a credence to what you're saying. The problem with Tony is the he's had so many people go there that he hasn't he's kind of missed a boat on. Yeah. You know, you're you like, look at what well, do, I wanna, takes do I want to? Do I want to go there and be another guy complaining and catering or trying to get five minutes in a show because they try and cram so much other stuff, even though they've gotten better because they got three shows now, right? But right. the only guy that's really made and that shows you it, it isn't easy to do because Edge didn't really make a bump or that, you know, they were saying, oh, Mystical. Mystical didn't, the ratings actually were lower. Right. Uh, you know, Punk's been the only one really. Right, because he had the cult, the cult of fans that follow him around. Right, he's a he's a right. fan base. Yeah, right. and you know who else has a fan base? Not for like you know, the the destroying numbers on their shows, but like when Kenny Omega, like has yeah. gone on like Impact or something, like their numbers yeah. got bumped. You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But like yeah. that's not the big. He's not drawing numbers in the, yeah. in the on the big picture. He's drawing yeah. numbers in the small. Picture, yeah, but he's but, more like a hardcore yeah. crowd, right? Which is a big yeah. car crowd. Yeah, and punks right. more mainstream. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Or when I when put- Kenny when Kenny was headlining Wrestle Kingdoms, even people that weren't New Japan fans would go out of their way to see you know the Omega yeah, match. But, but, that or access- or, yeah, but, yeah. but 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 my access- point is, Joe. My point is, you could take CM Punk and Kenny Omega to ESPN and Fox. There's a good chance they may not know who Kenny Omega is in right. either organization. Sure. They right, would definitely sure. know who Punk is. That's right. that's really the X factor, and that overrides everything. Kind of really. Right. Right. Um, How's wanna, um because you saw uh Hoovy as well in Chicago? How's Hoovy doing? Are you guys cool and all that? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. You know, when I'm in the work environment now, I'm very professional, so I keep whatever mm-hmm. personal thing. Because I was on the commentary and I could have ripped them a new asshole, and I didn't. I put them mm-hmm. over. Yeah. So you know, so I we'll said s- hi. We don't really. We don't. Our relationship will never be the same. You know, he crossed yeah. the line. So. That's, I want to talk about cool. a couple of tweets. That's I it. want to talk. Yeah. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and Keep It 100. Boom!